Today I'm going to show you how to set up your reactor ready jacketed lab reaction system with a circulator ready for use. Then I'm going to show you how to drain the thermal fluid from the system and swap the vessel to a different one. For example, if you wanted to scale up or scale down your chemistry. We'll go through the components that make up the system. We've got our reactor ready set up here with a one liter process vessel, a Heidelberg overhead stirrer, and a Huber Mini Stat 230 as our circulator. We've got some Huber insulated hoses for connecting our reactor ready to our Huber. So the hose connections on our Mini Stat are M16, and the hose connections on our reactor ready manifolds are M24, and we have M16 hoses. So in order to join them up together, we'll need some adapters to do this. So we've got these M24 female to M16 male adapters and we'll attach these to our reactor ready manifolds in order to connect them to the hoses. We've also got these 90 degree M16 adapters which we're going to fit to our mini stat. So the tools you need to do this installation are two large wrenches, a jug for filling up your circulator and just in case there's any spillages we recommend that you have one of these super absorbent mats to hand. So now we'll start by attaching our 90 degree adapters to our mini stat. You can do these up hand tight until you're happy with how they sit and then tighten them up with a wrench. We can then attach our M16 to M24 adapters to our reactor ready manifolds. Now we can attach our hoses to our 90 degree adapters. So a tip for getting good sealing between your hoses and any connections is that you want to ensure that the ball joint inside of the hoses is pressed right up against the thread of the adapter as you tighten the screw. Then we attach our hoses onto the adapters on our reactor ready manifolds. Now that we've got everything connected up, we can start filling our circulator up with thermal fluid. As we're using a mini stat, all I have to do is simply pour the thermal fluid into the bath. Now we can start the circulation of our thermal fluid around the jacket. Now you want to make sure that you have another jug with thermal fluid to hand so that you can keep topping up the bath as the liquid level drops as it fills the jacket. On your initial filling of the system you may see a little air gap at the top of the jacket. However, after a few heating and cooling cycles this should go away. Once you're happy that the jacket has been filled up correctly, your reactor ready is now ready to use for your experiments. Now we're going to go through the process of draining the thermal fluid from the system so that we can swap this vessel for a new one. With our reactor ready manifolds, draining the thermal fluid from the system is a simple process. First, what you want to do is attach a bit of tubing to the hose barb on the lower manifold and put the other end into an external container. Next, we open the air vent on the upper manifold and the drain valve on the lower manifold and the thermal fluid will drain from the jacket of the vessel into your external container. Now that all the thermal fluid has been drained from the vessel, we're free to swap this vessel for a new one. Firstly, we'll lift the overhead stirrer up using the I-beam. We'll disconnect our vessel to manifold hoses and secure them. We can then open our quick clamp. Then remove our lid and the O-ring. And now we're free to remove our vessel from the framework. We're now free to load our new vessel into the framework. We can now replace the o-ring and the lid. Secure the vessel with the clamp and now we can drop our overhead stirrer back in. And finally, reconnect our vessel to manifold hoses. So there you have how to set up your reactor ready with the circulator, fill the system and also drain it and swap vessels. If you've got any questions on anything you've seen in the video today, head over to our website for more information or to book a demo of our reactor ready system. Don't forget to like our video 
and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future.